run. I brought this up to him a few years back. And he said, well, I'm not a politician. I said, well, you call me a politician? I'm not a politician. <laughs> You're a trumpet player. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, but finally, finally something happened, and he saw the light, and he ran. And, of course, he ran a different race. I advised him wrong. I told him, Jeffrey, spend all your money on television, because that's what I used to do. But he knows the internet. <laughs> and I can't even spell the word. <laughs> social so, media. Yes. Social media. What he did, and he just he, he pulverized his opponent with social media, who I'm sure is, is, is not media literate either. Uh, but I don't know that. But I tell you, I mean, and he did something that is going to be, I know it's the politics of the future, using that internet. And he did it bravely, and he did it, excuse me, efficiently, efficiently. And heck, I am so proud that he was able to win. It wasn't by much, nope. you know, but because of all of my friends and some other people who, you know, who really got to know him and, and to like him, because he's going to do great. He's going to go into an area that I never got into is the psychiatric thing. And our city needs psychiatric help. We have too many people walking the streets, not just the people sleeping under the overpasses and under the bridges. I have people out there walking the street who need help, who can't afford to go to a private psychiatrist, who end up in the public arena and public arena don't have the money to treat them, so they put them back out on the street. I mean, 